If you just join in, this is Good Morning Abuja coming to you from the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. If you just joined, you've not really missed. Another feature we just watched is about how Nigerian education system can raise innovators and not migrants. And with us in the studio, we have a guest, in-house guest, that will be talking to us more about that topic. He is engineer Abayomi Onosonye, the Global Director African House. You're welcome to Good Morning Thank Abuja. You for me. Thank you're you so much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, we said how Nigerian education system can actually raise innovators and not migrants. So we want to look at how, you know, when they say innovators, they actually are talking about creativity. So how can this actually be included in the in Nigerian education system? All right, again, thank you for having me. Um, Nigeria is a very unique nation mm. because we're very smart people. Exactly. In fact, I agree. You, you, I agree. If you travel around the world, you discover that the best brains are often Nigerians, mm -hmm. you see. And uh, we're not short of innovators, really. But the problem has always been the system, you know, the education system that we, 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 we went through, mm. you see. And uh, I'll take myself as an example, you see. Um, you know, going through school, there's always one thing at the back of your mind. Okay. Pass your exams. Pass your exams. Yeah, exactly. You don't read to pass. Be, just, <laughs> read to pass. You must become a doctor or an engineer. Mm. You see, so the, the pressure is on you to just, you know, rush through the education system mm. and then look for a job. Mm. Uh, we've not focused too much on what can we create from this education that exactly, we're getting. Exactly. So as a result, you graduate and then you find yourself in this vacuum, like, okay, fine. Okay, now I have a job as an engineer, but do I truly love engineering? Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I ought to have been maybe a pianist, mm -hmm. for example. So as a result, you lose that creativity. Mm -hmm. So what needs to be done as the first step is identifying the unique needs of each child. Okay. Because we're all unique in our ways, mm -hmm. you see. And that will start from the primary school, even the kindergarten, mm. whereby the schools will watch the children and see what they are gravitating towards. towards yeah. You see, rather than saying you must pass, you must pass math, English, English, physics, chemistry, you have to pass. You must be a doctor by force, by mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. No, that is absolutely wrong. So we, we need to inculcate this system right from the very tender age, okay. kindergarten, where you discover that this person likes to draw. Mm -hmm. Then the teacher starts to guide that person. Mm -hmm. While he or she is guiding the child, they're giving them the option to understand that field. See, there are, there are different options. These are the options available to you. You could be a doctor, engineer, an artist, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I think because you're good in this field, let, let me put more energy into ensuring that you become very good at it. Exactly. And exactly. once that happens, you discover that you have graduates who are very passionate about what they do. Mm. And, you know, you, unfortunately, many parents, you know, they will, they will decide for their children. That's what happens most of the time because <laughs> yes. it, 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 you even find out where people will say, okay, I've done what my parents are trying want. Now I want my own. I want to do my own. You know, I'll give you a, a good example <laughs> to that. You know, uh, I studied electrical electronics at the University of Lagos. Okay. And uh, I had this uh, colleague of mine, uh, Susie. That's, what we, that, that's her name. Mm. And then she she had first class wow. in uh, systems engineering. First wow. class, I mean. Wow. And after she had done all that, you know what she does now? She's an opera singer. Wow. wow. Can you imagine? And she's really good at it. Wow. She's won scholarships mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. She does passion, passion and she will that. put her yes. best in it. Exactly. Yeah. She wow. finished the engineering degree, put it aside, and yeah. then she traveled the world, you know, singing and working. And she's really And she, that one really can never get it. tired of doing yeah. exactly. no matter because, because she, she has to play. She loves what she if they had discovered that talent at the younger age, you wouldn't have wasted her time. You know, exactly. I'm not saying it's a waste of time. Yeah, no knowledge is not knowledge. Actually. Exactly. So yeah. we need to, you know, start, you know, allowing our kids choose for themselves because parents, and again, you cannot blame the parents, you know, for economic reasons, you know, your parents will say, your uncle is a pharmacist. Is making money, see? So if you oh, and you oh. want to become a pianist, you want to be playing music. Oh, you we, no, I would not because, agree. Because sometimes you discover you see a family of lawyers, oh. like everybody. They just want to know that everybody's a lawyer, accountant. You know, and I almost fell into that trap. You know, I mean, I, I won't say I'm a victim of the system. I thank God for, for 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 what I am today. But you know, I grew up in a family of doctors. You know, and automatically mm. I must be, a doctor. Must be a doctor. I said no, me, mm -mm, I'm not. <laughs> Because I discovered I was very good at math, you see, and I was like, mm, no. So I, I actually broke all the rules, and then I decided to become an engineer, and then I actually left my city and went to Lagos to study. Mm. So then they said, this guy, what is wrong with this guy? It's different. It's always different. <laughs> so it, it takes a lot to be a rebel in an African home. Exactly. So, you know, this is what I want to do. Mm. So 
we need to have a society that supports that, that supports your dreams mm -hmm. as a person and, and, gives you free and gives you the free hand. Yeah. And also, our education system, you see, I won't say it's faulty. We have this mentality of rushing through school. We're in a rush to go nowhere. See, you discover that, you know, during, during our time, several decades ago, it was abnormal for someone to be in high school at age 12, 11. It's like, no, you started high school at age 12, 13, 14. Mm. But now you discover that kids are finishing nine. high school at okay. 9, <laughs> 10. <laughs> and, and, you know, and you begin to wonder, this guy has finished his SSE mm. at age 14, 15. Yeah. And then you, you begin to wonder, why the rush? Right. You know, and the, 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 the mistake we're making is this. We're pushing these kids so fast, so quick. They will not enjoy their childhood. Then he's 15, he has a d degree in his hand. And then he has not gone through that sociological development. Exactly. You mm -hmm. need to understand that education is meant to be enjoyed. Mm. You see? And then, you know, and you ask yourself, why are we in a hurry? And you discover that our, most parents are raising children so fast to become migrants. Which is very sad. Mm -hmm. The guy finishes, bang, 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 mm -hmm. he goes to England for his masters mm -hmm. and whatnot, and then he doesn't come back. He's a migrant. Mm -hmm. We need innovators yeah. that would, you know, graduate, fix the country's problems. In okay. Africa, we need to, we have a lot to do. We don't just fit into the system, fit into the system mm -hmm. fix mm -hmm. the system, yeah. not just finish and run. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you go to the airport, you see graduates mm -hmm. escaping by the droves. You know, mm -hmm. so that has to change. Okay. So, what measures can actually Nigeria actually put in to in to, to make entrepreneurship actually the basis? Let me put it that way, because now most times people see entrepreneurship as um. Okay, I finished school. I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just go. Me just but I think it should actually start before that point of you not getting a job. Exactly. It should not be forced. To the curriculum of the yeah. Exactly. So, like you said, it should be added to the curriculum. You know, we need to move beyond physics, chemistry, biology, literature. Yes, mm -hmm. those things are the core of your mm -hmm. education. But right from high school, let them start learning. Uh, you know, relevant skills, you know, and when I say relevant skills, we often make this mistake about vocational skills. Go and learn exactly. sewing. So go and learn bagging. Go and learn bagging. No, 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 no. See, we live in the jet age. We're talking about kids who can do robotics. Exactly. Because kids who can, you know, invent things. We need inventors, yes. actually. Not, mm. you know, because in the West now, what they've done is their children now are learning these high-tech things, mm. even in science and biology. Now they are bringing migrants from Asia and Africa to do the dirty jobs. Mm. So you see our graduate from University of Lagos, University of Abuja, will migrate to England and will, you'll be the one doing barbing. You'll be the one cleaning. Yeah, What's exactly. the point? So why can't we be that nation, that yeah. continent that raises tech people who mm. make billions with their mm. innovations mm. and then we're not bringing migrants mm -hmm. to do the cleaning, to do the barbing exactly. and whatnot because that's where the it's money possible. is. That's the reality of it. So mm. that's what we need to do. Let's look at this issue of, uh, let me call it notes memorization in Africa. Sort of practical application. Of the the <laughs> <laughs> so it's like true. memorize everything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then by the time they finish, you have half baked graduates. So, how do we emphasize on this? Thank you very much. I mean, I'm, I'm so glad you asked this question. See, one of the reasons why I chose to become an engineer was that I saw my, my siblings, you know, you know study medicine. And no offense to doctors here, medicine is all about memorizing what you've been taught. Honestly, this is left ventricle, right ventricle. If you're going to do this, you see. Mm. But for engineering, you cannot cram. Mm. You have to solve problems. problems. Yeah. You see? And I said, you know what? I want to solve problems. And that's why I chose engineering. And to answer that question, we need to have a curriculum that allows us to be innovative. And I got the shock of my life when I, I wrote my Cambridge A-levels several decades ago. You know, going through a public school, Loyola College of uh, of course, I was one of the best in the class. But then it was all about cramming, dumping, cramming, dumping. dumping. <laughs> then I wanted to study abroad for my bachelor's. Then I had to write Cambridge Advanced Level. And writing this exam, I discovered that even in the examination, they give you a, a, a paper with all the formulas you need. Mm. So basically, you don't need to cram anything. What they will test is your understanding. Oh, wow. So I was like, oh, so I can actually understand these things. It's not about just cramming. So we need to let our, right from the teacher training mm -hmm. to the curriculum to say, guys, 
we want to test their understanding. Mm -hmm. Don't just cram one no. plus one, two, two <laughs> plus two. No, they need to. So, and you discover that once you graduate, people will be solving problems. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be bringing foreigners to come and be building our bridges, our, our roads, mm -hmm. and what because mm -hmm. they understand yes, the yes. principles. And quickly, let me chip this in: the concept of malpractice. Mm. This is one annoying part of our education system. Children at a younger age or at a young age, they discover that I just need to pass. Mm. How I pass does not mm, matter. Exactly. So there's no dignity in what you have. Mm. But, so it, sorry, don't you think it's part of not understanding? Before we is continue, it? let's not ask some questions. Let's go on the break. <laughs> <laughs> let's go on this break and then <laughs> we'll continue with this conversation. <laughs> yeah, we've been speaking with engineer Bayomi Ogunsoya and he has been telling us so many things we need to know. It's not about cram, you know. You need to know what you are actually yes, doing. So understand so. it. So that even when those things are not there, you'll be able to deliver. So let's go on this quick break. And after that, the program continues. Good evening. Glad to have you join us. Thanks for joining us on Weekly News Wrap. Thank you very much for having me. And it is on that note we welcome you to today's edition of the program. I will celebrate creativity, lasting impressions. There's no book stating that this is the role for men. On the news. On the news at seven. The Niki Station, NTA Channel 5, Abuja, would say have a lovely day. If you're just joining us, this is Good Morning Abuja. And we've been talking with engineer Abayomi Onosoya on education system. All right, we're talking about uh, my past. Mm -hmm. Is that all mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we run a system, an education system filled with, I just need to pass by all means. Wow. And why is that so? Is because we, we the, our country, or shall I say, our system does not emphasize on understand rather than just give me your paper, your certificate, and, and that's it. Mm. And as a result, this thing as, you know, it's a cancer that has spread through deep into even from the basic education. If you, see, you see primary school pupils doing a common entrance you carrying what do they call it, expo, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's a battle. <laughs> and you even see parents who will pay for their yes. children for special teachers, centers, special centers. Mm -hmm. So from primary school to SSE, even in the university. So when these people graduate, you now discover that yes, I'm a graduate. And because I didn't actually understood what I was taught, mm -hmm. so I, I would just go and look for another job. I have colleagues in who went to the same university. They are, they are, they are, they are bankers today. Mm -hmm. How can you study engineering and work in the bank? Wow. A prestigious university yeah, really in a country that needs engineers yeah, exactly. to build roads, to design systems. That means there was no understanding. Exactly. Of and the malpractice is, 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 is the foundation of all of this. Even in college, the university at that time, you discover, you know, there are groups of uh, students mm. themselves who will sit together. They used to call it Voltron. You mm. know? They'll sit together in mm. a certain formation. Mm, exactly. The smartest one is in front. Mm. Yes. And then the dumb ones on the side. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So, so, we need, them, we really, <laughs> so we really need to change this concept. We need to let people know education is not by force. Mm. You're not just going there to waste five years of your life. You're going there to learn a skill that will change your nation, that mm. will change the entire continent. The point is, education is meant to be enjoyed. Yeah. Children need to rest. Mm. See, look at Scandinavia today. They have a system whereby they, they, they only teach them academic things maybe for like one hour in, in the whole day. The rest is play. It's, they study, but they play in the process. Mm. They give them wood to play with. Yeah, they give them machines to play with. Yeah. And Forget these guys the are the best mm. on the planet today when mm. it comes to physics, chemistry, yeah. biology, mm. because they've been told that it's not by force. Mm. Don't force yourself to cram all the calculus on your head. Don't worry. You can understand it by playing. So yeah. play is also a form of education. Yeah. So we need to please beg all these school proprietors, mm -hmm. stop copying systems that you don't know. <laughs> don't force them to have Cambridge, American, British, Indian in one school so that they can immigrate and pass SAT and go and migrate to London. Mm -hmm. Please, mm -hmm. let's be ourselves. We're unique people, yeah. smart, smart, intelligent generation. people. All we need is that platform. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You know, if we allow you, we continue. <laughs> but let's let it go to you. I like day. the appeal. Yeah. The appeal to schools, the mm -hmm. appeal to teachers, and even to parents. Please allow our children be. Don't load them with so much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. For